Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Jen. And I'm Shane. So today we will be discussing managing a relationship in your 20s. So let's talk about it. So the 20s decade, it can be hard, but it's not impossible for a relationship to work and to thrive. And we are a testament yes. to that. But we want to just talk a little bit of the, some of the things that can be challenging and difficult for relationships to work within this decade and some of the successes. And Jen's going to jump off on this and, and uh, talk about that a little bit. Yeah. So um, I think or we think one of the reasons why it is quite challenging to navigate and it's because of evolution. We are all constantly evolving and growing in our 20s where we're trying to figure our, ourselves out individually what career path or choices we're going to make, if we're continuing with education, are we moving out of the state that we live in, um, just so many moving pieces and also discovering who we are as young adults. Right. And so trying to put all of those puzzle pieces together can be a challenge on its own. And then you throw in meeting and dating and being in a relationship where that person too is also trying to figure themselves out and do this thing called life. Right. So um, we believe that that is one of the biggest reasons why managing a relationship in your 20s can be quite difficult because simply we're all simply growing and evolving. It's at that time where we tell ourselves, like it's so funny back in the day when you were maybe like 18 or 19. I don't know if you did this, but I do know a lot of women we we do this where we have a checklist and we say oh by 20 i'm going to be doing this mm. and by 25 i'm going to do this mm -hmm. and by 30 surely i'll have x y and z <laughs> and then life happens right. and you realize like okay i'm 22 whatever and i don't have it all together like right. where i don't i'm not checking off these boxes in the timely manner or in a time in which that i thought right. i was going to do it so when you have that coupled with trying to date and be in a relationship and figure it out with the person, then challenges can arise. A hundred percent agree. Mm -hmm. And I mean, even if you just think about your friend group when you were a teenager, um, from 13 to 18 to 19, whatever, it probably looks different when you're in your 20s, if mm -hmm. you are in your 20s or you're past your 20s. And your, your friend group that was that you, when you were in your 20s, it might look a little different when you're in your 30s. Mm -hmm. And it's not such a, it's not a bad thing because you, you might have new friends or you might uh, get in different circles. It's more so just the evolution of you growing up. What may, it may be because you moved a whole bunch of times. You went to different schools. Mm -hmm. It might be because you got into a different career path or you, you wanted to grow in a way that kind of outgrew somebody else. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of different things where friendships and relationships kind of dissolve over mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. And that is the same thing when it comes to your partner too. So there are a lot of moving parts and it can create a challenge when in a relationship at a young age or in your 20s. However, um, there is a way to make it work. We've made it work. Not to say that we haven't had our challenges as well because we too were those young 20-year-olds trying to figure things out. But I think one of the reasons how we were able to make it work is that we constantly communicate it throughout the course of the relationship. Yes. So, you know, there are going to be times where you may not be on the same page as your partner. Your partner may be growing and evolving in a way or time that you haven't quite caught up just yet. And I think acknowledging that and then communicating to your partner, this is how you're feeling, will help in a relationship because you don't want to feel like, okay, my partner's way over here and I'm way over here, but we're not talking about it. We're just constantly going in different directions, but not doing anything to bring us together. Yeah. So I think communicating and saying, hey, I feel like I'm not really growing as fast as I hope I would, um, or I see you doing X, Y, and Z, and I'm feeling a little stuck, or yeah. I'm feeling like there's some areas that can use improvement. You know, just anything. I think just 
and constant communication with your partner makes it much easier because then it will allow you all to get on the same page. Right. And kind of if you follow um, us and have seen some of our other videos, you'll see that if you're in a healthy relationship, you will play on each other's strengths and weaknesses. Right. So that would be a great time for your partner to come in and say, hey, well, I'm kind of excelling in one area. Perhaps I can help you with that and right. vice versa. If your relationship is solid, then you should be able to go to your partner and be able to discuss anything. And what we preach a lot is communication. Mm -hmm. So I think first and foremost, when it comes to making sure that you guys are on the same page and you guys are able to manage a relationship through your 20s decade, you guys have to have that communication in place. And whether it be a tough conversation or not, mm -hmm. it's, the, it's the communication that really makes the difference. And it's really based on the foundation mm -hmm. of your relationship. Mm -hmm. I think me and Jen, we had a great foundation in those early years from 20, 21, 22. Yeah. We built this foundation that was very strong. And over the years, it got even stronger because we continued to mold and, and build our relationship mm -hmm. to a place where now we're feeling like we're unbreakable, yeah. you know? And yeah. th that took some time. To, that takes some years to get there. But when we've been in a relationship from 20 to now in our 30s, mm -hmm. Each year gets better. Yeah. Each yeah. year gets stronger. Each year gets to adds a whole nother layer of your relationship. Just understanding each other, yeah. understanding what gets under each other's skin, what motivates them, what helps them, yeah. how you guys can help each other within a relationship. And building that foundational groundwork, essentially, because right. then what happens, what happens is when you do have a moments where things are not so great you have something that you can fall back on right and one thing that we haven't touched on yet is maturity i mean it's mm -hmm. we've kind of been beating around the bush around this topic but maturity you, both people have to be in a space where they're growing in maturity you know if, if one person is just not there yet and is continuing to stay on this level of not maturing and the other person is, then eventually one person might outgrow the other person. Yeah. And yeah. that happens often. So adding this whole element of, okay, I've got to not just think for myself, but mm -hmm. I have to think for my partnership, whether my boyfriend, girlfriend, or fiance, and hopefully wife or husband, there's stages to it. Yeah. But there, but you have to be thinking in a way, okay, well, if this is something, somebody that I want to spend the rest of my life with or I want to build a future with, you've got to start implementing in your mind and having the right mindset to say, okay, she might be my girlfriend or boyfriend right now, but I want her to be my fiance. Mm -hmm. I want her to be my wife. Mm -hmm. And when you start changing your mind from, oh, this is just a fling or this is just, a, this is just my girlfriend, boyfriend, to this is somebody that I want to spend the rest of my life with, so I'm going to treat her like my wife right now. Mm -hmm. When you start doing that, that's when you make that switch to say, yeah, that that's when you really can know that your relationship can last through a very difficult decade, like the 20s. Yeah. And that's the switch that I had to make and Jen had to make as well. But yeah. when I made that switch, made all the difference. Yeah, for sure. And I think um, another thing that plays hand in hand with that is honesty. Mm. Um, and when I say honesty, yes, we're talking about honesty in your relationship as far as um, being monogamous and not stepping out and things like that, but also being honest in reflection and being real with yourself and saying, does this person serve me? Mm. You know, um, because you can be navigating it through a relationship, but you also have to understand this, the signs. Right. And if there are moments where, yes, they're going to be, you know, you guys are at different stages, but if there are just, literally red flags you have to be honest with yourself and say should i be putting myself through this in this relationship yeah. and if not you know be honest and move on you know it doesn't matter how cute that person is or how much fun you have with each other when the when the times are good um you do have to be honest and, and real when it comes to that as well right. um so i think that that goes hand in hand with sorry our doggies in the background i heard some noise i was like what is she doing <laughs> 
she's just getting comfortable. Don't mind her. Well, um, I think I think that's a really good point. Yeah. Hey, the one word that she hit on was impressionable. Mm hmm. We, we think when we're in our 20s decade that we're not impressionable anymore. That's not that's not the case. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, when they go on social media, they're looking at other couples or they're looking at other uh, mm -hmm. people and mm -hmm. saying, oh, man, I want what they have or yeah. I want that relationship or, mm -hmm. you know, relationship goals. First and foremost, I always tell people, don't look at people on social media. Don't look at me and Jen and say, oh, man, like I want a relationship like theirs or I want to have what they have i want the miami views like they have yeah we worked hard for it mm -hmm. but you know we're not perfect we're not perfect you know? we, we we make mistakes mm -hmm. and you know it's not like we have a perfect relationship either yeah like we argue and we have disagreements and things yeah. like that yeah. our relationship is very solid very good but is it perfect no and, and i don't no relationship ever relationship is perfect i don't ever want to give off that impression yeah now do we do you know, we appreciate people saying those things. Of course, you know, we, we truly do appreciate it because we have put in the work to get our relationship to be where it is now. So we are very thankful for that. Maybe are there some things that you say, well, I don't want your relationship per se, but there's some things, uh, there's some things take. or qualities that I can take away yeah. or kind of keep that in the forefront when I'm looking for my life partner or when dating and by all means we you know that's cool and that's what mm -hmm. we're looking for we yeah. we want to give our perspective to our lives whether it's the relationship side or it's the money side we want to give our we we want to have these conversations mm -hmm. because we know it's adding value to other people and we in we want you to pick through this stuff and be like, okay, this is what I can take for my relationship. This mm -hmm. is how I can better my mm -hmm. myself mm -hmm. and my relationship. Yeah. And that's what this whole thing is about. We want to sure. share our experiences because we know it can help the next person, the yeah. next relationship. So with all of that said, just kind of um, bringing everything back full circle, we understand that there are a lot of challenges that mm. can come about yeah. um, when in a relationship or dating in your 20s. We too have been there. Um, it is a time where you're constantly, not constantly, but you're evolving, you're, you're growing, you're discovering who you are, you're trying to navigate life, and then bringing in someone else who's trying to do the same thing has its challenges. However, it's not impossible. You just constantly communicate. If you're honest and you really reflect on your relationship to make sure this person that you're investing your time in is worth it. Right. Um, they serve you. You serve it. You guys serve each other in a healthy way. Um, yeah. And is there anything else that you would want to say just to kind of tie that in? I mean, tie everything in. Yeah. I mean, basically that how we started it off was that this 20s decade or that 20s decade is a difficult one. And we hope that we can inspire people through our relationship to let people know, hey, it is possible. Mm -hmm. And we want to help you build the type of relationship that can last even through a tumultuous decade and a very challenging decade mm -hmm. um, of the 20s. And now we're working on our 30s. And hey. Yeah. And that's not to say that there won't be challenges, obviously, in your 30s or your 40s or your 50s. Oh. But we're just saying from experience. Um, you know, things will happen, but it's not impossible. So with all of that said, um, my name is Jen. And I'm Shane. Enjoy the journey.